by what we look like. I was going to say the Three Stooges, but that wouldn't be very nice. Hey, guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. Happy Friday, TGIF. And we are here. Yes, this is a lovely, lovely bubbly that Melissa McAvoy with Swirlery brought. And she's one of our guests today. And Andres Martin Martinez, almost said Martini. <laughs> Woo! It is uh, Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. We are here to talk about Best Buds Orlando 2022 and get some insights on some cool wines that uh, Melissa was kind enough to bring and learn more about them. So welcome, you two. Welcome back. How are you? Hey, you're doing awesome. Happy Friday. Cheers, right? Cheers. We should cheers. Got to look each other in the eyes, yeah. right? Yes. Y'all know what that old wives' tale is. I won't kick that off here. But listen, so Best Buds Orlando 2022, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you the link in the comments later. But before we start tasting wine and getting into everything, you know they love origin stories. So we'll start with you, Melissa. Tell them a little bit about, first, tell them what we're drinking really quick. Perfect. So we are drinking champagne, of course. Uh, what better way to start our afternoon? Kick it off. Club than with some bubbles. So we have a really special Pierre Cellier root grower champagne today from France, of course, that was uh, donated by one of our sponsors for Best Buds, um, our friend Dakota from Consortium Wines has uh, sponsored this wine today. I love it. Oh yeah, we can get yeah. close, it's fine. It's Perfect. always a tight squeeze in here. All right, Melissa, but tell them, since you're talking, tell them about you. I want them to all know about Swirlery. I want them to know we've known each other since the earth cooled. Um, she, is, <laughs> she, looks, she gets better looking every year instead of like old people like me. Uh, tell them about you. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to uh, be here, Ted. Um, I own the Swirlery Wine Bar here in Orlando, Florida, just south of downtown Orlando. Um, and uh, we're about to turn seven years old here, Amazing. up and coming in the fall. I'm an advanced sommelier. I'm studying with the Court of Master Sommelier. I love wine. It's my passion in my life. And I love sharing it with everyone here in the Orlando community. Woo, and she does an amazing job and gives back in the Orlando community. You're technically in Soto area. Yes. You have all sorts of fun events and engaging. And it's not like those other wine places where you walk in and you feel intimidated right away. Melissa wants to make, Melissa and her team want to make sure that you feel good, you feel welcome, and you learn something about the wine. So I love it. Swirlery is swirlery.com, by the way. All right, Andres, you're up. Tell us about you, my friend. Uh, yes, sir. So thank you for having me. I mean, uh, I'm president of the Heroes Hope Network. And, you know, one of the things that I do is that I help veterans make better choices through a holistic lifestyle. And we do that with coaching. We do that with videos. We do that with groups. We do that in many different ways to give them all the tools so they can live a better lifestyle. I love it. How did you how did you get into that? Um, so about four or five years ago, I went through like this transformational time. I was going through a lot in my life and I realized that a lot of the anger that I was harboring for, for a long time and, and I wanted to do something about it and I wanted to use that energy for something good. And the ideas came along and I started meeting people and just one thing kind of led to another and doors started opening. Here I am. I love it. So it's that, that Facebook page is scrolling across the bottom. Heroes Hope, I'm sorry, Heroes Home Network because Ted can't read that far um, <laughs> or remember anything. Thank you. And I'll post your full bio. I was telling Melissa before we went live, I couldn't fit the whole bio. It's a big bio. It's a big bio. I've been, I've been through it. I, <laughs> yeah. but been I love it. I, I really wanted to put that in there. Yeah. I, I will absolutely share that because I think that adds to what you're doing. It's always good for the audience to kind of connect and understand the why. All right. So Thanks. let's talk about Best Buds 2022 as we finish this maybe and start our next tasting. tasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Best Buds, I mean, uh, so Melissa and I, we've teamed up uh, and the Swirlery has opened up their parking lot for us. So we're going to have an outdoor event, family friendly. And what we want to do is we wanted to bring our veterans, but also teach them about some of the service dog organizations that are in the area that they may want to connect with. And the other part is that we're going to bring plant-based medicines as well. We feel like there's more than one way for people to find healing. And so why not with dogs? Why not, not with plant-based medicines? I mean, we, it's, it's, it's like a no-brainer. Really. I agree. I agree. It's a no-brainer. And why, why, why you? Why do you want to get involved? Yeah, so my background in my family is I come from a, a long um, history of, of people who served in the military and uh, first responders, a very long lineage of first responders. And also, um, I've been affected by um, 
mental health. And as we are here in May, we are focusing on mental health awareness this month, as well as uh, it's National Pet Month also. So we really chose a great month as we come towards the end of the month as well. We're approaching Memorial Day. This is just a great opportunity for us to do good in our community and help our local veterans and our first responders. Yeah, and if you, if you all don't know, we talk about it on the show a lot. Um, on an average day, 22 vets commit suicide. And so the mental health awareness and the mental health education and access to services and talking about it and providing meeting vets where they need to be met uh, is super important. So any kind of program programming that will help them and cut that number down to zero would be the best of all scenarios, but a work in progress. And so the more education, the more kind of shows we can do like this, the more events that like Melissa and Andres are doing, it does make an impact because it is very difficult to make that transition out of service uh, and into civilian life. It's a crazy little journey for them and we are here to help. All right, so next, I'm gonna finish this while you tell us what's next, Melissa. Perfect, so we're gonna um, have another wine. So we'll be featuring these wines at Best Buds and I was thinking about wine that would be great to drink on a Sunday afternoon. That's why we started with bubbles, but who doesn't like to rosé all day, of course. So we're gonna go to Italy and we are going to try a really nice Bartolino wine here, which is a blend of uh, Corvina, a little Rondinella. These are the typical grapes that you may find in an Amarone as well. You might be familiar with that. Love it. So yes. just a really light pressing of these grapes. So most grapes give clear juice. The color comes from the skin. These, of course, are red grapes, but just the slightest amount of skin skin contact. So enjoy this lovely rosé. I love it. So let's talk about the sponsors or what you have, because I think it's really important. You have a lot of people who are coming together. Uh, there is a lot of community support for what you're doing. So Absolutely. let's let's give them some shout outs if you don't mind. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Um, you know, so one of our major sponsors is going to be Escape RV Rental. We also have um, Sunnyside Cannabis Dispensary. And then there's also a Merifactor who is a returning sponsor from our last event. And I'm really thankful that it came back and joined us. And then one of our last sponsors is Move, and they are also a cannabis dispensary. So it's really neat how we're able to bring some of the plant-based solutions to the forefront and feature them. And then Escape RV. I mean, who doesn't want to go to the outdoors? Who doesn't <laughs> want to have that opportunity? Why not do a glamour style, right? I agree. Glamour <laughs> style's good. If they had a driver, it would be better. It'd be better. Um, but <laughs> somebody else could drive. But I love the fact that you have two, and that's what you're talking about with plant-based medicines. Uh, you've got two cannabis dispens dispensaries. I have my medical marijuana card, uh, which is so good to be able to actually talk about that online Absolutely. instead of the old stigma of, of what? You crazy man. And but you know what's interesting is I I have talked to many vets over the years, and that has been such a lifesaver for so many of them. Mm -hmm. Um, Jose Belen was just on the show last week, I believe, and uh he shared his journey, 45 minutes of a journey, it was pretty emotional, and he was able to get off all of the prescription drugs that he was on to deal with the PTSD. Uh, from serving in Iraq. And so he is in a good place. Uh, it's always a journey, though, yeah. but it he attributes it to the fact that he was able to find plant-based medicine. So I love that. And I love that you have multiple dispensaries because when I go into the dispensary, I have no idea what I'm doing. And so it's very good when you have someone who can explain it to you um, and actually get you the help you need and find whatever works for you, which is what it what they did for me. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. I have my med card, uh, and you know, the military for me when I was, you know, when I was in the service, it, it was difficult. We had some really difficult moments, and I feel like post military, it was hard to kind of find my footing. You know, like where do I belong? Who am I at my core? And along the way, I think it was through cannabis that I was able to kind of slow things down and, and take some of the edge off, take some of the pain away, and really kind of center myself. And, and I feel like. I want to be able to teach a little bit more of that to our to our people, to our crowd, and let them and let them have options, right? Like, well, I think options are important. You're right, and I think the ed, this is back to education, awareness, education, mm -hmm. awareness, which is what we try to do on the show all the time. Which is what these events are about: bringing people out and showing them, look, there are people that care about you. There are resources for you because sometimes, a lot of times, that's the biggest challenge as a vet. You know, sometimes maneuvering through the VA can be. Um, it's a crazy. Challenge. It's okay. a challenge. A challenge is a nice word. I'm yeah. going to leave it at that All on right. Friday That's fair. show. That's fair. But I, I know from talking to vets that it can be very difficult to try to figure out how to get help. Uh, and a prescription is not always the answer. 
And, you know, and I think that's why the service dogs also is a great angle because I think that, yeah, all right, so marijuana may be great for you, but what if you had something to take care of, right? And sometimes when you take care of something outside of yourself, you feel more connected. So a dog, I mean, my dogs really got me through uh, some of my most difficult times. They got me through a divorce. They got me through changes. They got me through just a whole different uh, chapters. And I think that it's important to not only highlight plant-based medicine, but what these dogs can do for you and bring those community, uh, those organizations to the forefront. And so people can meet them and find out more about the services and how they help. Uh, so we're really looking forward to, to sh um, sharing those organizations with you at Best Buds. Yeah, I'm excited. So you're opening up the parking lot. Tell us again about this setup. Yeah, is there, yeah. tell us how it's going to work. How is it sure. going to look? We'll it's give you two like weeks, a right? Yeah, that's it's two Sundays from today. We're going to have DJs in the parking lot. We're going to have vendors. We're going to have Lucian Burgers with their food trucks. So a lot of plant-based medicine and plant-based food will be there as well. Um, we're going to have art. So we're going to have your friend Jose actually come and do some art. So we're talking about that right now. We're going to have a veterans uh, museum there, which is yeah. going to be spectacular. The, the uh, Museum of Military History. Very cool. No way. Yeah. Yes. They have so a mobile awesome. unit. Yeah. And this is um, open for your family. So bring everyone, bring the pet. There's going to be three dog contests. So the contests are going to be, do you look like your pet? <laughs> is it a doggy doppelganger? <laughs> um, the coolest costume. And then of course, the most talented. And I also just want to shout out our concerned veterans for America. They're going to be there representing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one of the things that we've done with Sunnyside is that they actually have an exclusive area so you can learn more about their products. You can uh, talk to the representatives and you can just kind of really dig in. So if you're a med card holder, come join us because we have some really great stuff for you. And why not get involved? Everybody loves a pet. I don't know who doesn't. Um, and I also believe I've seen, excuse me, firsthand. Boy, that was delicious, by the way. Well, I don't know what's next, but you keep on. Um, that was amazing. That was the rosé from Italy. Yeah. It was, yeah. Ooh. Our next wine is brought to us by an incredible sponsor by the name of Bonnie Dune. So Bonnie Dune is a really eccentric winemaker um, who in the early 80s brought Rhone varietals like Syrah and Grenache to California. So he's kind of known as a Rhone Ranger. And um, this wine is so cool, Bonnie <laughs> Dude Vineyard Orange Wine. So it's got, you know, like a UFO up here. Nice. And uh, 1954 in Chateau Neuf de Pop, an area in France, House of the Pope, in the Rhone Valley, they made it this decree law that you couldn't park flying saucers in the vineyards. <laughs> so it's a legitimate rule. And so no. No flying flying saucers, saucers have been known to make any <laughs> landings anytime soon. Area but, 51 um, people. Thank there. you to Bonnie Dune. He's an incredible winemaker. We're drinking orange wine right now. So I am fascinated by this. So yeah. Bonnie Dune, I remember as a Riesling, right? They had a yes. sweeter wine. Mm -hmm. But I'm fascinated by orange. First of all, the color is beautiful. It's a very nice really pretty. Gorgeous. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it is pretty color. But I don't know if I've ever had an orange wine. And when you say the skin contact, is that what that, yeah. what does that mean? Again? So it goes back to the fact that most grapes release clear juice. So uh, with this Grenache uh, Blanc Grenache blend here that we have, what the winemaker has done is just allow the skins to sit on the pressed juice for just six days. Like this can happen in just a short period of time, this beautiful extract of color. So usually white wine is getting the juice off the grapes quickly. Whereas rosé, you want to get just a tiny little kiss of that color. And this is like the complete opposite of the spectrum here. This is like, let's get some color from the skin. And it ends up being a bigger, bolder white wine with more flavors, more texture, maybe some tannin. And uh, it's super fun. It, the texture, I was just going to say, it almost tasted thicker, if that it's makes like silky, sense. Silky, right? Yeah. Silky is a yeah. great word, yeah. thicker. Yeah, this is why I'm not in that business. <laughs> uh, my word descriptions are bad. Uh, but I love it. It's got such, I thought it was going to be sweeter, and I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. that it's not. Yeah. But it has that little bit, yeah, it's, and it it's smelled. Bold. The nose is great. It's, yes. very nice. it's a bold white wine. I can see this on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. sun's chilling. This is nice. Absolutely. Is so will you be pouring wine on the 22nd, Melissa? Certainly. So we'll be featuring 12 wines that, uh, thanks to our sponsors of the event, we'll also be giving away some free wine tastings as well from our friends over at the Elusive Grape. So we have lots of wine. We have CBD yeah. waters. Mm -hmm. uh, craft beers. And if I could add to that, for every ticket purchase, you get two drink tickets. So it's not a bad deal. Yeah. So buy a ticket, buy four, buy one for the neighbor, support the charity. It's nonprofit. Do it. Get involved. So um, we had a lot of questions before we went live because people obviously love swirlery. 
What's your suggestion on getting there as far as parking? Sure. So um, obviously, if you want to, you know, carpool, Uber, of course, all of that good stuff. Um, We'll have parking um, pretty much across the street at the Discount Auto Store. And then on Shine, across the street, that whole street would be available for parking. And our neighbors across the street at the tattoo shop are so kind to allow some parking. And then the other side of Circle K as well. But, you know, if you're going to be imbibing... Uh, in anything, True. an Uber would be so much more economical for you, I promise. Uh, but I just, I knew we had a lot of people go, wait, Melissa's parking lot. Hold on. If you're going to open the parking lot, where do we park? And yeah, so, great good question. Good question. Good. All right. Now tell us about the food again, because I, I am experimenting with plant-based food. I'm trying yeah. meatless Monday. I'm not doing that, but I'm meatless somewhere along the line. <laughs> the, somewhere club, week. <laughs> the club just launched a brand new vegetarian uh, menu. So I believe that's so important, but tell us about the actual food vendor. Absolutely. So we have Burgers and Bush coming and they make really incredible plant-based offerings of all of your favorite items. So they have some really great oat burgers and they have like, you know, some Buffalo chicken, like wings, like <laughs> made out of wheat gluten. And, um, that just, was actually really good. Yeah, was we it? had that it. Was very it tasty. was so amazing. Very at our 20 party over yeah. at the Swirlery. And yeah. so what they do is they just try to focus on things that are plant-based and, and plant-based foods take up you know, so, so many less resources for our planet. That's something we can go into another time. But if you want to save water, then definitely look into a plant-based lifestyle. And it's not like you think anymore, because I remember back in the day, long time ago, when I had a vegan or vegetarian friend, uh, the apartment smelled, I don't know what that was, they were cooking or eating. It's completely different now. So uh, come out and try it, because I love to experiment with that kind of food, because you can really find amazing food that tastes Absolutely, to me, it has more flavor, and then you know you're putting some good stuff into your body um, instead of all that meat byproduct, as my um, cardiologist says to stop, Ted. Uh, so we're working on that. All right, what's next? Tell me the last wine. We have one more wine. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we have one more wine from Body Dune Vineyards. Again, this is uh, his flagship wine. It's 2020 from the Central Coast. So here we are, back to the Rhone varietals that he brought over there. We've got Grenache, Cinso, Syrah, just a kiss of Petite Syrah, and uh, just a really fun red wine. Oh, it's pretty. Showcasing like something that you would find from Southern Rhone in uh, France, but uh, right here out of sunny California. I love it. And you said Rhone Ragers earlier. Yeah, they're the Rhone Ragers. Andre said it, and that made me giggle. Yeah, that's check awesome. it out. Like that's what their their crew was like called, you know. And so this is a Grenache. It, it's actually um, got Grenache and Syrah blended so into it. It's a blend. It. It's a red blend. So when people get people, um, again, we talked about intimidating. I think people are inti- intimidated by wine. Um, I'm always a big believer in drink what you like, but at least try to expand your palate a little bit uh, on a regular basis because you never know what you're going to love. And each different grape varietal, to me, tastes different depending on the vineyard. Uh, there's very much difference. Like I'm a big New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc person. There are some New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs that I don't like. They're bitter to me. Uh, they don't have that forward grapefruit forward flavor. So just because you tried something once and didn't like it, I mean, unless it was Mad Dog 2020, people, um, you should try another vineyard, another type, another grape, anything. Um, because, hey, Michael, what's up, buddy? Happy Friday. Friday. All right, I want to taste this. because I love a blend because I love the way those flavors come together. So good. All right, you're doing that. So tell them why you're doing the fish face because... I do that, and some people know, and then some people don't. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get a little air on my palate to really just kind of let those flavors open up and just really taste the wine. Mm-hmm. And of course, right. you should always smell it, too. Because you should always. Now, what do you look for when you smell? Sure, so when I am smelling the wine, especially a red wine, my first thought is, like, are the fruits black? Are they blue? Are they red? So, you know, ultimately, I'm getting a lot of blackberry, black cherry, black plums. On this one, I'm getting a ton of black fruits. I'm getting like a touch of leather, a little bit of black pepper, and uh, like a fresh turned like earth, and maybe just like a tiny kiss. So here's what I love about that. Don't be intimidated because she just named 40 different flavors in the wine. If you don't smell any of them and you like it, buy it and drink it. Because this is the thing, you learn. So that's, that's the part about education and expanding your palate. There are some times where I can smell something and I can smell chocolate or I can. So it's okay to identify what you smell, 
Melissa will smell something different than I will and Andres will. So when you're buying wine and going to a wine tasting, don't be intimidated. Go have fun and try something different. And you're going to have that opportunity on the 22nd. Why is the name of it Best Buds? Yeah, actually, it's pretty simple. Um, my dogs are my best buds. And some of the best buds come from the dispensary. So it's like, why not? <laughs> it's actually <laughs> brilliant. I feel like we should have been sampling some buds. <laughs> I know, right? Kind of. I don't know. Oh, yes. I've got, I've, I've got my card. I've got my card. Hey, I remember what I was saying. I've got my card. You know, it's funny. I'm not a, and for people who are not smoke people, because I'm not, mm -hmm. I do the tincture. So if you're out there and maybe your doctor or somebody has said you should try it, and because of whatever you have going on, you have a card. Um, I do the tincture. It goes under my tongue at night, helps me sleep. That's my primary use for it and it's for some yeah. back pain. But it, everything's different and you have to experiment, so to speak. I really like the edibles too. Uh, there's some, um, so Move, one of our sponsors, they have some really great edibles. They're like little gummies. And so it tastes really nice. It goes down smooth. I always have to smoke it. I think that's the stigma behind marijuana is that you have to like smoke a joint or something. And it's not like that. There's there's way more options for you nowadays to go experiment and try with. Kind of like wine. There's more than one option. It's more than one yes. varietal. Go try and see what works for you. And like I said, for us, we have Sunnyside Cannabis Dispensary and we have Moves both on board uh, as our sponsors. So go check them out, please. I love it. And I haven't been to either one of those sponsors cool. uh, so i'm very excited to go all right let's wrap it up tell them again the best okay. way to find out information about what both of you do and of course about the best buds orlando 2022 event on may 22nd which is a sunday absolutely so of course you can always check out swirlery.com or on facebook or on instagram we're so excited about best buds coming up two sundays from now you can buy the tickets at eventbrite by searching best buds and andres will tell you where else you can check it out yeah, so you can find us on Facebook, Heroes Hope Network. Uh, and then our website is uh, heroeshopenetwork.org. Um, and yeah, Sunday, 11 a.m., we kick off. We have our dog contest. We're going to have our sponsors. We're going to have our vendors. We're going to have food. We're going to have some wine. Sounds like a good time to me. It's going to be amazing. And you're going to bring awareness, education. Uh, you might even find something for yourself, uh, especially you're going to help veterans out. And that's really what this is all about. We really want to get the message out that there are alternatives, there is support, there are resources. Um, we just have to do a better job in our community. And I thank Melissa, wait, this way, Melissa, and Andres and their teams for putting this event together because this is what it's all about. Happy Friday, everybody. Cheers. See Cheers. you on May 22nd. Yeah. Bye, guys. Swirlery.com, heroeshopenetwork.org. Or you can reach out to me. You know I'm going to get you to them. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.